Asakusa. From Tokyo Sky Tree to Asahi's dubious golden flame, the area has plenty to see. It's home to the giant Sensuji Temple, surrounded by streets full of snacks, souvenirs, and photo opportunities. But we're here on a slightly different mission. Oh, oh, oh. We have arrived! <laughs> <laughs> This is Sake Ice, which opened in March this year. It's Japan's first ever Sake Ice Cream Specialty Store. It was launched by a design and freezing technology company that did a bit of social media research and noticed there were a lot of people pouring sake onto their ice cream. So they thought, why not mix it all together? This would preserve the pure sake flavor more than the commonly found sake kasu ice cream made from sake leaves, a byproduct of sake production. As well as non alcohol flavors, they have four sake options. We have a challenge. Yeah. Challenge is what do we order, what obviously? On, what on earth do we order? <laughs> There's so many different flavors to choose from. The original sake ice, Inasato, a dry sake from Ibaraki. Or Tokiyama from Hokkaido in the north, which even won a Gold Taste Award. And one flavour that gets Chris a bit excited. Oh, oh, I love, I love their sake. I'm really excited. I think wow. I may have decided. Oh, she brought it out. Oh, yes. Oh, oh so, 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 so. See the hourglass? Oh, let's have a look. So this is the kotsuzumi, the small drum. Okay, which one are you going to go for, Chris? Well, because it's very dear to my heart and uh, yeah, lemon and sake ice cream sounds really, really good. Um, I'm going to go with the kotsuzumi, the small drum. That's what I want to go to. I tried their original and I've tried their Tokoyama one, which has got a little bit more of the Nihon Shu flavor. But um, lemon with that yeah. sake sounds, it's so hot today, it sounds so refreshing. So we're going to get one each of those, right? Yeah. Or we could get. Let's get another different flavor. Should we well. get a different one? What else? Mm. What How else about the Otokoyama? Try? Because you made it sound so. I like the Otokoyama. And it's won an award. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Time for the taste test. This is uh, Kotsuzumi. Oh my god. It's so is good. it really good? Oh, you can really taste the sake. Really? Yeah. That's great. You can really, it's just like a sorbet version of their sake because I, you know, I remember how their sake tastes. Lots of lovely umami. It's very creamy. And then there's this lovely lemon that kind of, you know, like, um, just rounds the flavor out really nicely. Ooh, do like a lovely lemon. Mm. Yeah, the Mmm. Mm. Obviously, it doesn't have the lemon. Um, it's really nice and bready and yeasty, and it's got it's still got a bit of fruitiness there, which is quite interesting. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Could be from the lemon one above, but um, lo lots of umami, and it's really nice and soft and well rounded. I love. Oh my gosh, it's very sorbet-like, it's very light. Yes. Mmm, the yeasty riciness actually comes through. I really like it. I like it. I think I like it better than the straight one. The, the lemon combination is so good. Uh, mm. It's, I'm, I feel like I could get refreshingly drunk. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you know when they have these like um, cool towels with lemon? Phoebe's talking about this behind me. It's called an Oshibori. It's a refreshing towel that you get just before a meal at restaurants or at a hotel when you just arrive, or perhaps at a hair salon after you've had your hair cut, or at beauty parlors in a variety of different situations. And yes, it has quite a refreshing lemon aroma. This is part of what the Japanese like to call omotenashi, hospitality. Yeah. It's got that kind of... Oh, I'm just refreshing myself, but it's also with that slightly um, 
rice yeasty aftertaste of alcohol. It's also like, mm, but I'm also treating myself. I'm gonna try the matcha. Mm. Well, I mean, that's much thicker and creamier, and it's just got that really, like, I think matcha's full of umami, which people never really, in, like, people are starting to use it as flavorings and things. But you can see the texture is much more gelato-like, creamy. Oh gosh, you can see steam coming off it because it's so hot. <laughs> so this is the challenge of um, filming in the summer <laughs> before the ice cream all melts. So many shots. Mm. That's really decent. Really good quality match ice cream. And texturally and flavory, flavory, flavory. God, I've only had two mouthfuls of the sake and I can't talk. <laughs> Four percent, <one>. baby. <laughs> mm. It goes really well as a combination. I really recommend it. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy right now. I felt the, the sake taste more in the lemon version I've tried today than in the straight ones, but maybe because I was looking at a stronger contrast, so I was able to pick it out more from the underlying milk flavor. I don't know. But Chris, you're very sensitive to... I, I mean, I can really taste the sake, and more than I ever expected I would. That's, yeah. I probably do like a, ta like a professional tasting of this because oh, you can pick you up collaborate with all them. the notes and things in there. It's really... Oh. Honestly, uh, and I've tasted quite a few sake ice creams. I think this is probably in my top three, if not number one. Wow, yeah. high praise, high mm. praise. That means I've got to try some more to compare. Oh, what a shame! Do they do delivery? They do, they, they set up an online store using crowdfunding last month. So, while Chris is busy online shopping and buying up their entire stock and filling up his freezer, um, thank you for watching the video. We really, really enjoyed making it. And if you liked it, give us a like. If you didn't like it, um, why are you still watching? Because it's been quite a long time now. Um, please, please subscribe to our channel. And as always, sip on. on. What was the what was the ice? Um, is it in, is it all right? It's quite bright. No, it looks good. Okay, I want to try. What was it called again, Chris? I'm so useless for names. Uh, which one? The matcha one. Yeah, don't step backwards. No, not the matcha. The matcha is called matcha. Yeah. Um, uh, the sake <laughs> the one sake. is oh, oh, Tokoyama. No, Kotsuzumi. 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 Sake and lemon. with uh, lemon. Sake tea cocktails are the future, actually. Mm. You can smell it. <laughs>